Hi guys, it's James here from Optics Warehouse, your night vision and hunting specialist. And today we're just going to run through a bit of footage before I do a big proper review later on in the top four thermal monocular range, uh, thermal monocular range brands that are out at the moment. We've got the Hick Micro Al 35, we've got the Guide Track IR 35, we've got the brand new Pulsar Helion 2 XQ38 and we've got the Iray Infrared i3 E3 V2. All, all four very comparable in terms of their technology. So let's have a quick look and you can make the decision of which, as which is the best. So we've got our targets here at 100 meters. We've got a, a human sized target and we've actually got a, a Labrador out there as well who's very similar size to a fox. Top left we have the Pulsar Helion 2 XQ38F. Top right we have the Infrared i3 V2 Max. Bottom left we have the Hick Micro a Hick Micro Owl 35 and on the bottom right we have the Guide Track IR 35. So we just see our target just, just walking off screen and as we do we can just have a look at the trees in the background there and you can really see on the Hick say the 35 millikelvin the Net D really does emphasise that. 600 metres away again human and dog uh, you can see them across the field you can see them in every single one there uh, each image does produce its own definition Again, with the HIC, the higher definition of the background really helps you decide where, where it is you are, so you know exactly where you are in the land. You can see similar sort of qualities in the Pulsar. You see probably uh, a good definition on the, on the actual object itself, on the guide and the infrared, but not so much on the actual definition of the background. So let's have a look further into the Pulsar. So again, 100 meters on the left, 600 on the right. Its Pulsar has been uh, a brand for, for goodness knows how long now. Um, you can see from all the sophisticated menu systems at the bottom as well as a, a good image going all the way throughout. It's pretty easy to identify the human and the dog elements on this particular video. So we use a dog as a representation of close, closest to being to a fox. The infrared, I say you can pick up probably a little bit of better definition on the targets themselves. Um, just because so you can just pick up the cooler heat heating patches just because it's got a, a sub 50 millikelvin rather than sub 35 so it doesn't pick up as much heat as other units which you can obviously see not being picked up in the trees as much as you would say with a with a hick definitely and, and and the pulsar unit but you can clearly identify what it is you're you're looking at there so it's pretty obvious to see that there's a dog and a human now we come on to the hick as you can say, as you can see, sorry, the um, there is real high definition here across the whole board. It, it really is a, a superb piece of kit. And we've got um, see where you are with the trees. You can pick up the dog. You can pick up the human. No problem on both distances. Um, it may, if you look at say the 600 meters, yes, it has a one times base mag, but that allows it to actually have a quick scanning ability and so you're able to pick up targets quicker than you might be able to with other units that say have a have a three times base mag or a three and a half times base mag. But the Hick overall, you get good definition, really good definition of the background and of the target you're looking at itself. The guide. The guide looking at here, as I say, is again, it's net D 50 millikelvin this one, but it has the same sort of image quality that you get with the Hick and the Pulsar rather than sort of sepia look that you get with the I-Ray. Um, so you get good definition of the image itself. As you can see, we can clearly identify the human and the dog in both instances, say at the 100 and the 600 meters here. And then it also, if you look on the uh, 100, 600 meters, you can really see that it does have a wide field of view and a lower base mag. So again, you can have that quick scanning ability. So just back to the 100 meters here. So you're looking at the um, looking at the Pulsar and the Hick, you can obviously pick up the definition of the background because of the superior net D, more so in the Hick because it's sub 35, whereas the Pulsar is sub 40. With the infrared and, and, and guide, it is sub 50, so you're not necessarily going to pick up the definition of the background as much as the target. Uh, but the infrared does comp compensate for that slightly by having a, um, a higher base mag. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the footage of, of all four units here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you guys decide as to which is best. Because as I say, there's a lot of, lot of stuff on the internet, people saying various different things. But so we're gonna we're gonna record the same image with with all four different binoculars, and we'll let you decide which is best. 